something could be wrong with the baby. These are the words no pregnant woman wants to hear. But many times, these could be s, found as the result of prenatal tests like a CVS, chorionic villa sampling, turn out to be nothing, and the babies are born healthy, which means the expectant moms go through a lot of unnecessary worry. One such woman happened to be a research scientist and wanted to find out why it happened to her. The result? A new study published in the journal Nature Communications, which found that abnormal cells in early embryos can actually be replaced by healthy cells, leading to normal babies and inspiring hope in worried moms to be everywhere. Prenatal tests not always clear. Magdalena Zernica gets. PhD, of the University of Cambridge in the UK, was inspired by her own experiences with a CVS test that showed unhealthy cells but ultimately resulted in her healthy son, Simon. In her research, she and her colleagues used mice to see what happened to early cells in an embryo that were abnormal. An embryo, the stage of a baby at weeks 5 through 10 of pregnancy, is made up of cells that will become the fetus as well as the placenta. Our finding is that cells with a chromosome imbalance in the part of the embryo destined to become fetus are eliminated by cell death, the good cells survive and the embryo is fine, she tells Fit Pregnancy. Cells with a chromosome imbalance in the part of the embryo destined to become the placenta can survive, but these will not cause any, harmful, effect on the fetus. This study shows that embryos have a great ability to fix themselves. On the other hand, Eggs, before they are fertilized, do not. Imbalances in chromosome makeup can happen in the egg, something that is becoming increasingly common as women are choosing to become mothers when they are older, or in the embryo, says Zernika Getz, who was herself pregnant at 44. When it happens in the egg, all cells in the embryo will be affected, repair is not possible as all cells derived from this egg will be not normal. So when a woman has an early test like a CVS, it can be difficult for doctors to figure out how to understand the results. CVS tests are perfectly accurate, they just need to be carefully interpreted, Zernika Getz says. If all the cells in the CVS sample are affected, this means that the chromosome imbalance most likely arose in the mother's egg. If only a proportion of the cells sampled show an abnormality. Our findings would suggest that the embryo should survive and be absolutely healthy. The same goes for the new genetic blood tests like Maternit 21. The Maternit 21 test detects embryo DNA circulating in the mother's bloodstream, Zernika Getz says. Like CVS, the cells from which this DNA comes are derived from the placenta. So the test is great for detecting chromosome imbalances that occur in the egg and which affect the entire fetus and placenta. But if there is a chromosome imbalance in only a proportion of the placenta, then the baby can still develop properly. So the blood test has similar advantages and disadvantages to CVS, but a blood test is more convenient.